Jared Polin Fro Nose Photo.com. And this is the, what do we call this thing? The Raw Edit 43, where basically put Adam's photo, my photo, and the photographer's edit uh, basically on the screen to show you what we did with it. This week, I am flying solo. Uh, we're not going to show you the edits this week, as I'm going to show you some of the pictures that you guys did that I really, really thought were fun uh, or funny or just plain old good edits. Adam's been out shooting pretty much all week. I've been shooting all week, uh, and uh, I just wanted to show you the edits. My edit's here on the left, Adam's is here in the middle, and Andy, who took the photo, has his right here. What I liked what Andy did is it's just, it's a really representative photo or edit to what the scene was. Um, I like what he did. I mean, this was a very, very difficult photo, raw file, to edit, and that's why I put it up there. Um, I just thought it was, uh, you know, going to be a tough one, and let's see what people could do with it. I had trouble with it because I don't want to spend too much time editing this type of photo personally when I do. I mean, I, I guess it must be an ADD thing, which I've never been diagnosed with, but I think I have. Uh, maybe it's just hyperactivity. I don't know. But, but you know, I don't feel like sitting and tweaking too long. I just want to shoot pictures. Let me shoot and let me, let me make sure and let me get it quick when it comes to editing. But, you know, I thought Andy did a great job with his edit. You know, I'm off here to the side. You actually have some color and light in the face. Uh, whereas in some other edits, if you, you know, if you don't separate me from the background, it's going to just all blend together, especially right here in the face. He must have done some editing in the face, some lightning. Yeah, he had to do some lightening up or some dodging there. And that definitely, definitely worked. So let's go back to Adams. Adam has this thing with making everything look you probably think I'm going to say something bad, but I'm not. Um, he has a way of making everything look, uh, uh, what is it, platinum-y. Like a, like a, it's like a platinum look. It's, it's, it's chic. Uh, so it may be some process that he runs on his, on his photos that is, you know, his type of thing that gives it this, this cool, just, it's a cool look. Um, cause it gives it that, that classic, that classic feel. And you can see that right here with me on the frog, um, he was able to keep the face in here. Uh, I know he had trouble with the edit. We all had trouble with the edit and he kept, it just, it doesn't, the background doesn't distract me as much in this photo as it, or, or in this edit as it did in some other people's edits where just the background blew out. It just became distracting. And I know that shooting at 16 millimeters, you're not going to blow the background out. I would have liked to have seen it shot at 2.8. I don't know. I have to ask Andy why he shot it at 4.5. Um, but yeah, Adam gets his platinum-y feel split tone that just looks great. I'm going to have to learn something from that. And then we just have my quick edit where I just split toned and I cropped because I just felt like cropping and instead of having so much of the background there, I wanted to be less distracting. Not the greatest edit in the world, and I'm sure people will let me know that, but you know, it's not that bad. You have the details in the face. Uh, the color, you know, it's a split tone color. I just didn't want it black and white, so I chose a different tone in there to to try to just change it up. I didn't spend very much time on this, but I just wanted to to show you what you know, just something that grabbed me for for the time being. So coming up right after I uh, pause this, I'm gonna show you the the I don't even know maybe it was four uh, five or six different edits that you guys have that I picked out of the forum. There were so many great ones. There are so many great videos. Again, you guys are doing awesome with those screen flows. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, everybody, you can check out the link below or on the web page. You can see a bunch of the screen flows that some of the readers put up there. Um, it's great to see what other people are doing to basically use it as a gauge for where you're at. Uh, also, to learn from other people because you know you can pick things up. Everybody has different techniques. You know, what Adam does or what I do, it's not the gospel. We have our ways of doing it. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. But then again, you can form your own, uh, you know, your own style. And that's what you get. You pick up a piece from here, you pick up a piece from here, you take from somebody else, and you go, all right, I like what they did there. Let me add this to what I already did and see if it works for you. Uh, and I promised you a sneak peek of the raw edit for next week. This is going to be it right here. So this is going to be a fun one to edit. I know a lot of people are going to have a good time with this. Um, this is Colleen. She was graciously uh, kind enough to come out and model for me outside. This was shot with a 302.8, but we will get back to that next week for when uh, 
when I put that up for the raw edit 44. So you're going to get ready for that, and that file will be there. So right after I unpause this, I'm going to show you guys the top, whatever, the ones that I picked from the forum. Uh, and here we go. So there's actually six images here, and I thought it was kind of fun. Somebody right here, Adam Huds. Adam Huds did a Where's Waldo? Except he cut me out with Froze, and uh, yeah, I just thought it was cool. So nice job there. Uh, I picked this out because I thought it was a pretty representative edit. Um, you know, the colors are there. The angle seems to be a little off. I don't know. Does it, it just looks weird. I mean, it, it's interesting. I don't know. remember why I picked this out. Maybe it's just because it's a little larger. Uh, there's some dodging and burning. I, I just felt that it was pretty representative of what the scene looked like, except actually up here in the sky. I mean, I could see they tried burning in a lot, bringing it back, which is pretty interesting that you could do that. So that's from a crowd. Then there was an HDR image. Why not throw it in there? See what you guys, you know, came up with. You could see how the sky got brought back. The trees you kind of lose, they kind of gloss over, um, and then and then it kind of gives it a, that more 3D uh, effect. So that's why I picked that one because it it it's an interesting look. Not saying that I would ever print it or put it on my wall because it's you know because I don't I don't, I don't know, what am I gonna say? I don't really like HDR, but I just thought that I should point it out to show you what can be done with it because I don't think it's that terrible. It's just you can tell that it's over the top with how I am just blown out, not blown out, but separated but i like the 3d look of it so so that's that from crazy beautiful photo um okay i thought this was one of the best color edits that were in there the only thing i don't like is that they decided to skew the angle but if you look past the skewing of the angle the edit here is right on the colors look representative of what they would have been if you were out there on the scene the frog is the right color green the grass is the right color grass and I just thought it was a cool edit done very well uh, for the exact color, except for the, the horizontal mumbo jumbo there. Um, and then I guess this was funny because I guess I took the kid's balloon and was riding the thing and he's crying and he's all upset. And that's from uh, L plant. Is that what that says? L plat. L plat. I'm blind. I can't see from there. But yeah, nice job with that. And a good edit on the color too, because it looks, it looks good. The clouds look good and, and the baby crying, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take your frog, but you know, I was here first. And then this was the last one. What creativity went in this? Uh, yeah, this is, um, I guess the guy said a Commodore 64 type edit, 8-bit uh, for when I was a kid. And what it, what's awesome is it's like a video game. You got Lil in the bottom corner, you can play as Lil, you can play as Adam. That's, that's just plain old awesome. Uh, there's a level nine, the score, the battery life, 67%. Marcus Boost, great job. This, I mean, this is this is awesome. This took time to do. Walk to, set ISO, push trigger, focus, uh, F-O-C-U-S. Um, set aperture, change lens, format SD, change battery. Uh, this is great. It's like a video game. Call Adam, tickle Lil, set to raw, set to JPEG. Sorry, I can't do that. That's funny. They set it to JPEG, and I'm like, no, I can't. This one's awesome. I really love this. This is my favorite one uh, from, I mean, this is just cool. So those are the ones that I picked out. I'll try to do this from week to week as your edits start coming in. Uh, and hopefully next week we'll get time to do the raw edit, Adam and I, with the video so that you can see it. Actually, I think Adam already pre-recorded his, which is good. I have to get to mine so that it, it will be ready for next week. So great job on your raw edits again Great job. Uh, great job with the videos. Thank you for doing this, and I will see you next week. Jared Poland, Fro Knows, photo .com. See ya.